Hello everyone, my name is Smithy and welcome back to RuneScape for Dummies. Today we're back with another Slayer guide and we're going through the monster Drakes. So for Drakes you need 84 Slayer to unlock them and they can be assigned by the Slayer Masters, Konar, Neve or Steve and Duradel. So for this method there are two level requirements that you're going to need. One is optional, the first is 40 Prayer for Protect from Range and the second is 70 Prayer for Piety. That is because... Drakes have a melee and range attack style. We're going to be protecting range against them and also using a tank setup so we don't really take any any damage from the melee hits. So to go through Drake's stats, um, they've got 250 hit points and they grant 262.5 XP, that Slayer XP, per kill. Um, I'll flash up their combat stats uh, on the screen right now. Um, so we're going to be protecting from range to block their range attacks and they do sometimes hit with melee, not that often. And there's also another attack that we'll see in the example kill um, that you need to look out for, which is kind of like a fireball that if it hits you, it does like burning damage. Um, uh, but I'll go through that once we get into a kill clip. So notable drops from Drake's. There's two main ones that they have that are their uniques, which is the Drake's Tooth, which you can use with uh, Holy Sandals to make devout boots. And then you've got the Drake's Claw, which you can use with Brimstone uh, boots to make... Oh, the stone boots that I'm currently wearing uh, to make the boots of Brimstone. When you're doing them off task, those drops are 1 in 2,560, but on task, they're only 100, uh, 1 in 512. So the location of the Drakes is in the Coruleum Slayer Dungeon, which can be accessed via the Fairy Ring CIR, CIR sorry, um, which is this Fairy Ring just here. We're over in uh, Zaya at the moment. Um, also, the other option that you have is the skills necklace from the, to the farming guild that you can run around. And if you have the agility levels, you can use the shortcuts up the mountain just to make it a little bit quicker. If not, you can run around this path and uh, go down to the Slayer dungeon here. The other option is the Raiders th uh, Radas 3 Blessing, uh, which is through the Hard Diary, if I remember correctly, for the Kevos Lowlands. Okay, so let's go through our uh, gear setup. So I've gone with the Imbued Slayer Helm. You can use a, a normal Slayer Helm. I've got an Amulet of Glory. I know some people get thrown by the fact I've got a T4. Uh, I'm an Iron Man, so yeah, I'm kind of beggars can't be choosers. <laughs> uh, I've then got a Fire Cape and a Honorable Blessing. Any Blessing, just to give you a bit of prayer bonus, or if you've got anything else that you prefer to put in that slot. Best in slot cape, uh, for me, that is a Fire Cape. Uh, I'm using an Abyssal Whip. Uh, that's my best in slot melee weapon. Uh, I've then got a Darox Plate Body and Verox Plate Skirt. Anything with a strength bonus is good here. You could use a fighter torso if you are a lower level or if that's all you've got. Uh, and then your best in slot tank legs as well. I've then got a dragon defender and Barrow's boots, your best in slot gloves. You will need to bring the boots of stone uh, to protect from the uh, damage that you take if you don't wear them in the Slayer dungeon. And then I've got Berserker ring imbued as well. You could use something like a, fighter's, uh, a warrior's ring or my favorite item in the game which is the Lumbridge Diary 2 ring, the Explorer's Ring 2, uh, which gives you a prayer bonus. Uh, big fan of that ring. If you've seen any of my videos, you know that I love that ring because prayer bonus, isn't it? <laughs> anyway, we're using the Berserker Ring imbued for this uh, guide. Uh, then for the inventory, we have eight prayer pots, probably a little bit overkill. You can bring like six. Um, and then I've got uh, a bunch of Karamb ones. Uh, I've got a Holy Wrench as well. This is an optional item. It just gives you a little bit more... Um, a prayer when you take a sip from a prayer pot. Uh, I've then got um, a rune pouch with alkable runes in as well. There are some decent drops like uh, dragon items and rune items that Drake's drop that are really just good for alkin. So bring them with you so you can save some bank space. I've then also got my bone crusher. If you don't know what, what that is, that is a um, item that you get from doing the Mauritania hard diary. That automatically buries bones as soon as you kill a monster. If you do want to bank the bones, I have been doing... Uh, banking bones as well with this method uh, and then using them on the ectofunctus or the chaos altar bone crusher means you don't have to pick up the bones and you get the prayer xp passively if you want to do that go for it if you have it go for it um definitely recommend getting it if you don't have that item as well uh, i've then got a draymond staff and also my rd cloak one just a quick access to a fairy ring if i need to go and bank for example i can just teleport to the monastery i can recharge my prayer there i can then run over to the fairy ring and then teleport to the uh cir cir uh, fairy ring using my draymond staff and get back here quickly so we're going to now go into the actual um 
dungeon. I'm going to show you how to get to the Drakes. So let's do it. All right. So we're coming from the bank, which is located here up the mountain, uh, or up the mount, I should say. So we're going to run around, take the lift. As you can see, I do have my quick prayers set up. I'll show you my quick prayers as well, which is protect from missiles and piety. Just means you less clicking in it, really. So when you come in, you come in and you go east and then hop over this little rock formation thingy majiggy here. For some reason they've got these here. Just a little bit of effort in it. And then climb up the stairs. <laughs> um, and then we're going to come round and go north. And you want to whack on your prayer about here. Because there are drakes in here as soon as you come in. Another option that you can do is use a cannon in here. You can see this dude here has got a cannon. Um, there you go. Um, so we are going to look out for that fireball as well. These red, uh, these sort of darker red ones you're protecting against, so you're fine. I think it's every eight or nine attacks. It will do the uh, slow-moving fire thing. And uh, that's the thing that will drain you. There you go. There it is. And if you just step one tile to the left or right, it won't hit you. I will let it hit me for one so you can just see how much damage it does. Um, I think it's up to 30. I'm not actually too sure on that because um, it kind of ticks. But I will show you how that works. I'll purposely let it hit me. There we go. See it starts burning. You take a little bit of damage. And then you just eat a cram one and happy days. You know what I mean? Um, they're really not that difficult of a boss, a boss, a slam art, a monster. Uh, they give decent XP, they drop really good bones, they've got not a bad drop table, it's not the best. See, that's automatically bank, uh, uh, buried our bones there, and we've got the prayer XP. Um, XP-wise, uh, I think I was getting about 30k last night when I was trying these. Um, but for that, I can leave something in the description when I've done a bit more research on the drops. Uh, on, the, on the XP rates, um, because I don't have that information at the moment, but like all of my RuneScape for Dummies videos, always check the description, I put a lot more information in there if there's anything I've missed, or if there's anything that you guys have commented on things that you think I'm doing stupidly, or alternate gear setups, and things like that. Um, you don't really need the high-end, big beefy boy, high drop rate items for these. They are really easy. Um, they're a nice slayer uh, task to get. I know a lot of people block them because they think they're a fucking waste of time, but they're not bad XP, boys, alright? They're not bad XP. Uh, right, we've killed three of them, and it's showing me that I'm getting about 31k XP an hour, uh, in Slayer. Um, I am using the split method on, on my, uh, whip, so those ones are a little bit ski whiff, uh, but I'm on about 25k XP in each of the three combat stats as well, and also hit points. Um, and it's about 4k prayer XP if you've got the uh, got the bone crusher, bone crusher kicking on and doing some work for you. But um, yeah, I hope you guys found this Slayer guide useful. Uh, I know I've rambled a little bit, but um, casual. These videos are casual. It's just sharing my knowledge as I learn shit. So uh, I hope you guys found it interesting. I hope you guys found it useful. If you did, hit that like button. Uh, check out the description as well. I've got a lot of other Slayer guides listed in there that you guys can check out. And also other PVM content. And uh, a little bit of skilling stuff as well. Where I share my two cents on a few bits. Um, so if that sounds like it tickles your fancy, uh, subscribe to the channel as well. It's completely free. And uh, have a look at some of the other videos that we've got on here. There's a nice roster of shit that we've got. Iron Man, Hardcore Iron Man, UAM, Normal stuff <laughs> technical term that one um but yeah thank you all for watching hope you all found it useful and we'll see you all in the next video bye